welcome to your house. Hello, let's go into the house of John Budd. <laughs> I'm gonna take you upstairs, but we don't take people upstairs anymore. First of all, that's really nice of you. Well, first of all, those stairs are treacherous, but we haven't taken people up there in quite a while. But now, and but before I could let you in, I had to unbar the door. And See, this is that's what I saw this on a video yeah. too about. And you have the other. I have to class, look right? at that video again. We sh maybe should. Show I just watched it. it this morning. That's how. Did I we should show it? Uh, but come on along into the kitchen then. This speaks for itself, but there's the oven. Under there's the oven, and much of the furniture in this house is either original or authentic. Because back in 1940, well, let me back up a step. Until the Long Island Railroad came out here in 1844, people didn't go anywhere. They married and stayed here. They intermarried. So a lot of the furniture was still in local families. So when the house was restored, they put out a request for furniture appropriate to the time and so on. So it's a number of these pieces, and I can't identify which ones, are, if not Bud-oriented, probably Wickham, because it was several generations of Wickhams that lived mm -hmm. here. So, but I point out, you can see where there was plaster lath. That's what these marks on these beams I, are. I see what you're talking and about. And that was, that was added afterwards. So the architects, you know, when we restored it, said, well, they didn't have Get such plaster back then. But here, and I'm going to show you even more in the other room, but here you can see these pegs. Oh, yeah. They're holding these studs into that beam. And I'll show you what we call the summer beam when, when, we, when we get in the other room. These were original. Now, on the picture that you saw, and I'll, I should have brought one of those books. Uh, I have one in the car. Well, I, what I'm saying is, originally, when, when it was restored, regular cedar shingles had been put on the outside. Oh, okay. So they took those off and put back the more authentic siding. But the inner sheathing is the word I want. That's original. Are you a rimp? I am a rimp. Looks <laughs> <laughs> like a. <laughs> yes, sir. Come on in. You want to take a tour? Uh, I just want to peek in. Just uh, I haven't seen it open for a while. Okay. Well, this gentleman is a descendant of the builder of this house. Anyway, lead on. Sir. Yes. Lead on. All of this was original, even though it had been used as a barn. Mm -hmm. These things were not disturbed, including that siding. It's just amazing. And. Uh, The bricks were made locally, and as I said, uh, you'll see here, see the hearth? These, much of this brick, we believe, was made on Robbins Island, mm -hmm. which was owned uh, locally. So, but some of the stuff came from New Haven, too. Some of the ships, when they came from New Haven, to the eastern end of Long Island had bricks and stuff as uh, in the in the hold. What am I trying to say? A ballast. It's ballast. Sure. So, but a lot of it's funny. A lot of these little tags date back to 1940. Now, maybe you could help me with a little uh, business about the white oak. Mm -hmm. Now, what what I had learned, or what I what I think I learned, and you can straighten me out on this, is that the white oak was used specifically for ship masts, which is why you weren't allowed to use it. And the only way you could be able to get a hold of that white oak for ship masts is if you were in the shipping business. Well, and they say that the wealth of John Budd comes from the shipping business. That's very true. And I explain knew, how he could use a yeah, white oak where yeah, no one else could. Well, that's exactly, and I'm going to point that out when I show you the summer beam, summer beam, or now we call it the summer beam, but it's right. literally the summer beam in the, in the living room quarters. But that may well be because uh, white oak has long been gone from around here. Is that right? As I said, that we had to go to the West Coast. Yeah, and, and Oregon, England. you said. Yeah, and, and Came from England. Oregon. And, and so, but you see, this is pine, this paneling. Mm -hmm. But again, as I always point out, another sign of wealth, look at the 
what's the word I want? For Detailing. That? So, yeah, but there's a word. My father was a builder. Sure, and I, and I, I should I remember what it was, because even in, in sometimes in uh, Naughty Pine today, you see that butterfly is the word I want. But these are look at this. See, this is original. Mm -hmm. Even these little leather washers. Oh, you're right. They're still on there. They're still there. Now, I, ap I apologize for this right. This was put in here and I didn't know. It's okay. What, well, you know why? Because we used to be, stuff. well, not only touch, they walk away with things. Oh, that's <laughs> Until a few years ago, we had no security problems. We never questioned anyone. Mm -hmm. But every once in a while, they do an inventory say, whoops, what happened? See, like that little funnel at the top. Uh -huh. Or something that someone could pick up and stick in their pocket. Right, that's and, sad. But this is all pottery locally made, and you can see, if you know, at that period, uh, some of them have initials on, some of them have words, mm -hmm. but that was all made here. Excellent. Come on in, folks. If you want to join me, I have, I want to introduce you to a descendant of the builder of this house. Who? This is Mr. Bud. John Bud was my 10th great-grandfather. 